Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. In this video, I want us to listen to Bomet Governor Hilary Barchok. His remarks are going to inform the basis of our analysis right now. The people of Bomet voted overwhelmingly for this government. In terms of percentage turn turnout, I think was the leading in the country. In terms of the force that went to the president, I think we were leading in the country. So as much as we want to be very silent about shares, I think what we are demanding is our share. Every day, I'm answering very difficult questions from the residents of Bomet. I think the only money that we have received is around 9 million for the last one year. Check the distribution in terms of the funding that is going to roads. We have been given zero. Billions are going to other areas. Does it mean we are a bush, as somebody has indicated before? That Bomet is a forest. And there was no need of a railway line running through Bomet because it is a forest. Going by what happened yesterday and the information that we received, I think it's a confirmation that we are really in a forest. But even if we are living in a forest, I think we also have rights. Bomet should not be a playing ground for politics. And when it comes to the development, we take it elsewhere. That one will not take it kindly. And I want to tell everybody, and anyone who cares to listen, that the residents of Bomet are not happy. They are not happy. The governor also himself is not happy. And I think it is high time that everybody takes responsibility for the duty that he has been assigned to do by the residents of Bomet and the voters of this Republic of Kenya. Because I cannot keep answering questions that I don't have answers. Because when we are located at zero, what would, I, what would I tell my people? That we are not anywhere in the map of Kenya or what does it mean? I don't understand. So I think for to be fair to the people of Kenya, to the people of Bomet, please, anyone who has been given a ministry, cabinet secretaries, PSS, P, I want you to be fair to us. Be fair to us. Otherwise, personally, I will not be taking responsibility explaining things that I don't understand. Let each and everybody take responsibility. And I want to tell visitors that we will be receiving in future in this county, please, when you are coming to this county, come with a proper message. Don't come and play politics in Bomet. We will not allow that. Come with development agenda. Tell us what we are doing for the people of Bomet. But politics, wait until 2027. And then we can meet in the field for politics. But for now, come with a message of development. We will not allow anyone to come and politic in Bomet. We will not. And if you don't have any other business about from the politics that you bring, don't come. I want us to put those remarks into perspective for Kenyans to understand what they mean and what the governor is trying to drive home. 
if you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed subscribe give this video a like let's proceed yes the remark signals the beginning of a very big split in William Ruto's Kalenjin backyard. And when Ruto's own Kalenjin backyard is in turmoil, then he's actually not going to be able to flex his political muscle in other parts of the country. If his own back, backyard is not solidly behind him, then even in other areas, they will not take William Ruto seriously. And Barchok is sending a very clear message to William Ruto regarding their allies. Going forward, it's not going to be business as usual. It will not be politics. We want development. So the question begs, why is the governor coming out in public now to complain one year after Ruto took over power. If you look at it very objectively, and I agree with the governor that the ground has been piling pressure on him, especially on development. What I'm seeing here, this order elected leaders, the members of parliament, governors, senators, they are being forced to carry the failures of Kenya Kwanzaa government. Because if they speak against the government, they are going to be penalized. So all along from what I'm seeing, they are being forced to carry the failures of the Kenya Kwanzaa government. And by carrying the failures and not highlighting them to their electorates, the electorates are seeing that they are the ones who are not performing. That's why the governor has been forced to come out in the open to explain what's going on behind the scenes. In the last one year, Bomet County has only received 9 million Kenya shillings as Barchok is saying it. So he has come out because he cannot continue shielding the national government. That means more and more leaders in the college nation or in areas that supports William Ruto, the elected leaders will now start exposing William Ruto for them to save their political fortunes. And for those who have been following me here, I've always maintained, and this is something I keep on repeating, that as time goes by, leaders supporting this government, they'll find the ground very hostile. And the reason is very simple. The government is not performing and these leaders are not brave enough to expose the unperforming government. And the ground feels that they are the ones who are not performing. Secondly, or rather besides that, I'm seeing a very high possibility where Barchok is just sending a message to Osoros because a few days ago, Osoros was in Bomet County and we saw some skirmishes, there's some drama, after which Osoros and some leaders were chased away. Osoro is a very close William Ruto, Ruto's ally, and it's believed Osoro speaks Ruto's language. I'm seeing a Barchok who's sending a message to William Ruto, stop using your foot soldiers to fight me. And I'm saying that because from what we have gathered, there seems to be some suprema, supremacy battles in Bomet. And the last time, or rather a few days ago, supporters of Barchok and supporters of Bomet governor actually were involved in some skirmishes that led to some chaos. 
is that we are told some people were injured. So you are seeing William Ruto here using the likes of Osoro to maybe destabilize the leadership in Bomet. Yes. So Barchok is just sending a message to Ruto. We don't want politics in Bomet. Bring us development, not politics. Let me stop it there for now. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Any other person who may want to support us here, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through that number or feel free to channel your support to the number. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya.